The Walking Dead, issue number 29, written by Robert Kirkman and illustrated by Charlie Adler. Let's begin. <coughs> Rick tries to get up from the bed. He stumbles and falls down. Oh my god, Dr. Stevens! What is it, Alice? It's the patient, he's trying to walk. Jesus, he could have been out cold at least a couple more hours. See if he can, can't get him to get back, back in the bed. I'm trying. Who are you? Rick punches Dr. Stevens. Ah! Kill ya. It's the dative! Get us the dative! Got it. Hurry before he hurts himself. It's in. Okay, good, fine, okay. Get a couple of guys to help us get him back to bed. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll admit it. I got a little carried away, but I don't grab a thing. I do it every minute of it. What about you? Nope. I wouldn't think so. We're through here. Let me out. You go ahead, cry it out, honey. Just get it all out. You heard it. You don't have to be anything to be ashamed of. Cry your little head off. I'm I'm not crying for me. I'm crying for you. I think about all the things they're going to do to you, and it makes me cry. It scares me. That's cute. Get some rest as much as you can. At least, a guy's gonna be in here later to clean you up. Maybe give you some bandages. Maybe have a little fun himself. But mostly, he'll be getting you ready for tonight when I come back. Just want you to give you something to look forward to later. Fuck this. Sun's coming up, isn't it? I'm gonna need some sleep. Please, kids. I told you to stop running. Morning. Morning, Governor. You can't slow down now. Listen to your mother. Okay. Bob, please go get get you some food. I hate to see you wasting away like this. We gotta get rid of the bar system. We'll just give you something. Fine, okay. If I'll get mother hand off back, my back. Thanks, Bob. I worry about you. <laughs> Whatever. I know. I know. Sorry I was out so late or early, depending on how you look at it. <laughs> Governor slaps the zombie. Behave yourself, goddammit. I'm sorry, honey. What's got you up so upset? You haven't tried to attack me in months. Oh, no food, huh? You need to be careful. If you knock your bucket over, it will roll out of your reach. I rate you better than this. You don't want, want that, do you? Here. <laughs> so you knock your bucket over and your food's just spoiled. That's what you get. Even fresh, I don't see how you eat that stuff. Really, I tried it. It's horrible. May it taste different raw, but I'm not gonna try it raw. I get get you some more food, honey, but Daddy's tired, so you'll just have to wait until I wake up. Fuck. This better be good. <laughs> Stop it. What? Here's what you asked for. The tube from the helicopter. Oh, and I put something else in there. Didn't know if you wanted to keep it. You can just get rid of it if you don't want it. Thanks. Make sure to I get some sleep, okay? Don't let anyone else up here. Okay. No, this isn't for you. Well, I suppose you can have this. He's holding Rick's hand. This should keep you quiet long enough for me to doze off. You guys have got quests. Guests now. Neighbors, actually. The governor pulls heads out of the bag. Or box. You two can keep each other company. I gotta get off my feet. Ah, <sighs> 57 channels and nothing on. You see a bunch of tanks with walker heads. Uh, I wanna go home. I wanna go home. I wanna go home. I wanna go home. What have you? Wait, you ain't never moved before. You got a new home now. This is your home. Huh? At least for a little while. Speaking of moving, you got, you, you're getting a new room. Come with me. You deaf now, too, you coward? Didn't you hear the good news? 
get up. I said, get up. Fun, asshole. Have it your way. He give you any trouble? Ain't walking for himself, but he didn't put up a fuck. Think he better piss himself, though. You know, the armor of his ain't got any police markers on it. Could be from a prison. Yeah, let's ask him. Wake up, princess. I've got all kinds of interesting questions I want to ask you. I'm not going to ask them, even one of them, just yet. I could see that what we did to your friend, Rick, was it? It has affected you a great deal. You seem like you could be in the right mind for some questions, but I really like to stack the deck in my favor. Are you listening? Pay attention! He punches Glenn. Why? Why are you doing all this? Same reason anybody does anything. I... Got something. Get something I want. I want, now that I have your attention, I want to go to the cell next door, just in case you don't realize, recognize the screams. Michonne is in there. Listen carefully. But now that, that no matter what you hear, it isn't going to kill her. I can always come back later for that, though. That should get you in the mood to answer some of my questions. I'll be back in an hour or so. You'll know when I'm done. The screams will turn into whimpers. Close it. She ready? Probably not. Oh, good. Open it up. Ready for round two? Come on, don't be shy. This will be just like last time. <laughs> That's a good girl. Uh, don't pass out now, sister. We're just getting warmed up. Uh, see, now it's getting good. Thank you can take this. You took it last time. Think it's too much for you? Uh, See, not too much at all. Just enough. There, that'll give you something to keep your mind occupied. Ugh. Ah! Ugh. Now we're talking. Get that. Fighting it. I like it when you fight. Because yeah. then I get to fight back. Oh, God! That's right. It's good, isn't it? No, no, I totally agree. And I also think. Ah, oh, you're awake. You the one patched me up? Best I could. Alicia helped you. Up a little. You've seen better days. Yeah. Um. Am I okay? It's an infection. I never got. I got a fever. I can feel it. That's perfectly normal for someone who's experienced as much trauma as you obviously have. I'm marching you. Are, you're everything. Looks good so far. Are you going to attack me again? No. Don't think I will. You don't seem like the murderer top. You're not really with him, are you? The man man run this place. The governor. He got a real name. Let's go get me more, some more bandages from the storeroom, please. Our patient has me worried of infection all of a sudden. Philip, his name is Philip. Okay, Dr. Stevens. He was a good man. Emphasize on was. We started out, started out as a small group soon after all the start. We found this town pretty early on. The National Guard Station in the narrow alleys. We decided we could take a this place. So we sta staked our claim. Started out, he was tough, but he got the job done. Philip emerged as the leader of the group very quickly. He did what he had to be done, what needed to be done to keep people safe. After a while, it was clear to some of us that he was doing this more out of enjoyment than the need to protect us. It was clear he was a little more than an evil bastard. I can't even talk about his poor daughter. But do you, why do you allow it to go on? The fights, being the zombies? What do you think he'd do to anyone who opposed him? I hate this son of a bitch, but I can't do anything. Whatever else he does, he keeps these people safe. That's enough for most people. As long as there's a wall between them and the biters, there's no, you're not too concerned with who's who with them on the side of the wall. Well said, Doctor. Well said. What do you want? You said to come in, a, in today. You wanted to change my bandage. Bruce, point gone. Point it gone. I left you over there. Sit down. I'll make it quick. Sure, you have important things to do. You're looking well, stronger, healing up nicely. Well, not as you can. So, when do you start torturing me? You? Never, never. I pegged you from the start. You're not gonna say shit. You got a family back wherever you're from, and you're not gonna sell them out. No, I was gonna torture the others in front of you. I don't, didn't think you'd crack, but I was pretty sure one of them would. But plans changed. What? You're going into the arena. I want to at least get some entertainment out of you. I'm currently planning on raping the dog shit of the bitch who took him off my ear until she finds a way to kill herself. The 
young Asian boy with the overreacting tear ducts, I let him go. Let him go. Why? Because he told us exactly what we want to hear. I know everything I need to know about your prison. And if he's stupid enough to go there, he'll lead us right to it. That was the end of issue number 29.